Hey, welcome back. In the last video, we talked about slope, how to find slope, and how to use slope to graph lines. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write down the equation of a line. And we're going to do that in two different ways. We have the uh, point-slope equation and the slope-intercept equation. So we're going to start with the point-slope equation, then we'll do the other one later. And, and um, <clears throat> it has the word slope in it, right? So slope must be important to this. And so that's why we talked about that. So let's go ahead and and uh, put this all together. So um, here's a problem. Find an equation of the line through the point uh, 2 comma negative 5 uh, with slope 3. Okay, we want to find an equation y, with the y's and x's and an equal sign, right? So how are we going to do this? Okay, well here's the idea. If I want to find an equation, so let's take this point uh, 2 negative 5, wherever it is, all right? I'm not being very accurate about it. I'm not drawing axes or anything. I'm just going to draw the point. Um, if there is a line through this point, what my equation is going to do is it's going to involve x and y. And what, is x, what do x and y represent? They represent another, the coordinates of another point on the line, right? So let's pick another point on the line and label it x, y. So how can we come up with an equation from this picture? Well, if you remember from the last video, when we have two points on a line, we can compute the slope, right? So what I'll do is I'll take, uh, I'll, I'll just compute the slope here. So I'm going to call this my um, uh, x1, y1, and I'm going to call this my x2, y2, and I'm going to use the equation for slope uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And let's see what we get here. Well, um, y2 is what we're just calling y. Uh, y1 is negative 5. So y minus negative 5, that's the same thing as y plus 5. x2 is what I'm calling x. And x1 is what, I'm, is what we labeled 2. Okay? And so we know the slope has to be this. Now we also know that the slope is 3. So that must be equal to 3. Okay? Well, there it is. There's the equation. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to get rid of the denominator here. We're going to multiply both sides by x minus 2. Okay? So if we, if we do that, if we multiply both sides by x minus 2, that will clear out the denominator. And what I'll have is, let me move the 3 to the front here. 3 times x minus 2 equals y plus 5. Okay, there's an equation. And this is actually what we call the point-slope equation. We've got the slope sitting right here. And the coordinates of our points are in here. Our point was 2 comma negative 5. Well, here's the 2, here's the negative 5. Now, it's got a plus. That's because we were subtracting it. Let me show you what happens um, in more generality, okay? So let's do this whole thing again, but instead of using specific numbers there, um, I'm going to use just letters, all right? So I'm going to call this, let's, instead of call, giving those numbers, I'll just call this x1, y1, right? And I'm just going to call this x y. Okay? So um, what did we do? We said the slope was um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So this is my x2, y2 here. So just same thing we did before. Uh, y2 is y. y1 is y1. Uh, x2 is x. Uh, x1 is x1. Equals m. Multiply both sides by x minus x1. Move to the m, m to the other side, right? And what we have here is we have m times x minus x1 equals uh, y minus y1, because these things canceled. Let me flip sides. It's an equal sign, so I can do that. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is a very important equation 
this is how you get your answer, as is what we wrote above at the end. But this is called the point slope equation, as I said before. Point slope equation. So this is a very important thing that you'll want to remember. The point slope equation for the line. This is the equation of a line with slope m that passes through the point x1, y1. All right. So let's just go and use this. I, we, we already got the answer to the question above, but let's do it again just using the point slope equation. Okay. So let's just do this. Oops. <laughs> let's go back to the original problem here. We can do it just very quickly, just jumping to here, right? So um, the equation of the line through the point 2 comma negative 5 with slope 3. Okay. So um, this is my x1, y1, right? So my equation is going to be y minus y1. So it's going to be y minus negative 5. And that's the same thing as y plus 5. Subtracting a negative is adding. Um, the m is the 3. And then it's time x minus, times x minus x1. So x minus, what's x1? It's 2. So there you go. Once you know the equation, that's all you have to do. And you're done. That's the point-slope equation. So I worked through it to show you how it all works the first time. But once you know the equation, you don't need to go through all those steps, right? You can just write this down, all right? But now you know where it comes from. The equation just comes from the equation for slope. That's all it is. It just comes from slope, OK? So <clears throat> let's go to this next one. Find an equation of the line through the points negative 4, 1, and 2, comma, 0. OK, well, what did we need before? Well, we, we're using this point-slope equation. So uh, we need to know the slope, right? Well, it's not given to us. Can we find it? Well, sure we can. We can call this our point x1, y1, and this our point x2, y2. And since we have two points, we can compute the slope. The slope is given by this. y2 minus y1 is 0 minus 1. x2 minus x1 is 2 minus negative 4, which is 2 plus 4. And so I see the slope is negative 1 sixth. So I've got the slope. They didn't give me the slope, but you can compute it in one line, right? And now we can use the point-slope equation. y minus y1, so it's going to be y minus 1 is equal to the slope, negative 1 sixth, times x minus x1. Well, if you subtract negative 4, it's the same thing as adding 4. And there we have it. So this one only takes two lines. We just needed an extra line to compute what the slope was. Now, I want to be very clear about what we're getting here. These, these equations are giving us the equation for every other point on the line. right? They gave us two points on the line. And yes, if you plug either of these points in here, it will solve the equation. right? It'll make this equation true. Um, but any other pair of numbers x, y that solve this equation will be a point on the line that goes through these two points. Let me say that again. Any other pair x, y that satisfies this equation will be a point on the line that goes as though is the line that was described. Okay. Now you might wonder, well wait a minute, what if we had chosen this to be our x1, y1 and this to be our x2, y2? Because there's nothing particular about the order in which these are in, right? What if I flip them? Wouldn't I get different numbers here? Turns out you will get different numbers. You get the same value for the slope, but you'll get different numbers here. But it will, in fact, describe the same line. Okay? And that's why it's, I wrote find an equation. There's more than one equation that describes a single line, right? It's just, just because you have the same line doesn't mean the equation is necessarily going to look the same. In fact, I could do algebra and multiply both sides of this equation by 3, and it looks like a different equation. But it's the same. It's the same line, right? 
Anyway, let's go on to another problem. Find an equation of the line through the point 0, 7 that is parallel, parallel to a line with slope 5 thirds. Okay. Well, we need to know the slope, right? If we're going to use this equation, we're going to need to know the slope. So we know it's parallel to a line with slope 5 thirds. What does it mean to be parallel? Well, let's just imagine what a line with slope 5 thirds looks like. Probably something like this. Now, parallel means that it goes in the same direction. So our line is going to go through the point 0, 7 and travel in the same direction, like this. How are their slopes related? Well, remember, slope is rise over run. Isn't that ratio for this line the same as the ratio for this line? Because they go in the same direction, they have the same steepness, so the slopes must be the same. So if two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. And that's an important fact. Parallel lines have equal slope. Important fact. Okay? So that means the slope of our line is 5 thirds. And that means we can write down the equation, right? So uh, here's our x1, y1, right? So y minus y1 is going to be y minus 7 equals m, which is 5 thirds, times x minus 0, right? x1 is 0. And I can write that a little bit nicer, right? I can write that as y minus 7 equals 5 thirds x, right? Might as well just write it like that. No need to subtract zero if it's not doing anything, right? Okay, so that's an equation for the for a line for that line. Okay, so what I want to talk about next is the another form of the equation of a line, and that is called the slope-intercept equation, and we can actually get that from here. Okay, so let me. Um, Just write this down, slope-intercept equation. So this is the equation of a line when you happen to know the y-intercept, okay? Um, as we did here. See, we can tell where our line intersects the y-axis. It intersects at the point 0, 7. That was given to us. And that makes the equation come out a little bit nicer. Turns out the slope-intercept equation has the form y equals m x plus b, where b, where the point 0 comma b is the y-intercept. Can we see that by looking at this, what we did here? Well, look, if I were to just add 7 to both sides, if I were to take this equation and add 7 to both sides, what will happen? Well, I get y equals 5 thirds x plus 7. Can you see that this is exactly this? Right? The slope was 5 thirds. And what was the y-intercept? 0, 7. If the y-intercept is 0, b, b is the number that goes here. 7 is the number that went here. We actually were one step away from having this in slope-intercept form. Right? All we had to do was add 7 to both sides. And so slope-intercept form just comes from the, uh, the, the point-slope form. It just happens when the point's x-coordinate is 0, and so that goes away, right? And then you just add this quantity to both sides, and that gives you the slope-intercept equation. So it's really just very close to the point-slope equation. Um, but it has an important property, and that is... Um, the slope-intercept equation uh, is always the same 
if the lines are the same. So unlike the, the point-slope equation, which can look different for the same line, the slope-intercept equation will always look the same. Okay. So, um, um, yeah. So let's let's go and use this for this problem here. Okay. Find an equation of the line through the point zero negative six that's perpendicular to this line. Okay. So. Um, Well, what does perpendicular mean? Perpendicular means that the lines are at right angles. Okay? So if this line has slope m, the property of perpendicular lines says that this line has to have a slope that equals to the negative reciprocal. Of this. So this one will have slope negative 1 over m. Okay, so that's how perpendicular lines are related. Okay, so let's see. We've got this line. Let's take a look at it. It is in slope intercept form, right? y equals mx plus b. y equals 1 half x plus 5. I can see that the b is 5, and the m, that's the important part, is 1 half. So I can tell that this line has slope 1 half. Right? So because our line is perpendicular to this one, our line has slope negative 1 over 1 half, because they're perpendicular. Their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. Okay, So our slope is going to be this. Now what's 1 divided by 1 half? It's 2, and then I negate it, I get negative 2. So our line is going to have slope negative 2. Okay. Now it goes through the point 0, negative 6. Well remember, If we know the y-intercept, that gives us the b. Well, this is the y-intercept. 0, comma, negative 6. That's the same thing as 0, comma, b. So b is negative 6. So that's what goes here. So my equation is um, y equals mx, so it's negative 2x, plus b. Well, b is negative 6. Right? So that's my equation for this line in um, slope-intercept form. Okay, So there are two forms that we can write, just in review, there are two forms that we can write our line in. We can write our line in point-slope form, or we can write it in slope-intercept form. They're both perfectly valid ways of writing down the equation of a line. Uh, but if a problem asks you to do one, you should be able to do that one. Or if the other, you should be able to do the other. The nice thing about slope-intercept equation is that it'll always come out looking the same for a given line. The lousy thing about point-slope is that it can look different for the same line. But the other important thing to remember is to get from point-slope to slope-intercept, all you have to do is solve for y. If you solve for y, this will become this. So they're, they're really the same. Okay. The last thing I want to do is I want to take us to just um, a graphing software just to give you a picture of what's going on. Here you'll see in the upper left I have written y equals mx plus b. All right? And I just want to show you what happens when I move b around. B is the y is the y coordinate of the y-intercept, and so you can see as I change the value of B, you can see the line just moves up and down, right? And here's M. If I change the value of M, it's changing the slope of the line. So different values of M give me lines with different slopes. Right? 
And some interesting things here, if I wanted to look at a horizontal line, you can see I get that right when m is 0. And when m is 0, you don't see the mx, right? Because it's multiplied by 0. So if you wanted to write down the equation of a horizontal line, you would just write um, y equals b, because the m is 0, and so that term just goes away. So y equals b is the equation of a horizontal line. And we talked about the equation of a vertical line a few chapters ago. So you can look back and look how that comes up. That's the one that does not have a y in it. Anyway, um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.